Drop caps are a great way to add some interest to text, but some characters like A or V can leave a lot of white space that doesn't look so good. This video shows a simple way to reduce this white space going from this to this. Right, so let's get started then. We'll set up a new page and put a text box in with some text. This text already has a drop cap. Let's put that in there. Zoom in a little bit. And now I will highlight the drop cap and copy it and put it into a text box of its own. And we'll just straighten up those bounding box lines, get them nice and close. And now we'll change the paragraph back to ordinary paragraph text and remove the we'll remove the letter A and put in the replacement drop cap. Just line that up in there. Just switch on the snapping tool, makes it a little easier. There she is. Now I'd like to have it a little bit taller, I think. So we go to the character settings and choose vertical scale and just push it up a little bit. And now we will go to the text wrap set and uh, we'll choose tight. And now we'll go and use the text wrap outline settings and just move that in. You'll note that the no tools automatically selected. And there you have it. All that excess space has been taken up. You could do a little bit more if you wanted to, but I think it does need a little bit of space around it. At present, Affinity Publisher doesn't have an option for inline graphics or anchored objects, so you'll have to reposition the drop cap if you move the text about later on. And there you have it. That is a drop cap with the excess space taken away.